I better take the lift. Hello, and welcome back to Storytime Gamer. We we're playing Horizon Forbidden West. We're in the middle of the big story mission here. I think it's the last one, so let's get to it. Make sure we're all ready to go. Man, it's crazy stuff's happening. Looks like the machine's inspectors have almost wiped each other out. What was that? Aloy, Gerard just activated the self-destruct failsafe on the printing matrix. What? He's taking control of a number of systems. Including the lift? I'm afraid so. He's restricted its access to the top. You'll have to climb from there. I have to go. I almost have. All right, then. We can do this, right? Time to remember everything we've learned. And what's interesting is that this almost kind of mimics the first level we went through, right? We were at a space shuttle. And this is kind of like a space shuttle. Aaron, is everyone all right down there? Uh, mostly. We're cleaning up the last few spectres. What about the Zeniths? Dead, I think. Izo told me you got Eric. Good work. Yeah. Thanks. I guess only Tilda and Gerard are left then. Aloy, you there? Listen, I got into the network, but only for a minute before I was shut out. I found a bunch of flight plans and trajectories, as if the Zenith were planning to leave Earth. That doesn't make any sense. I know, but there's more. The files I found have a lot of references to something called Nemesis. What? Whatever it is, the Zeniths are afraid of it. Alva? Alva! Hmm. What's going on here? M maybe Beta can help me figure it out. If she's okay. Nemesis? What? Don't tell us there's like an alien threat or something else on top of all this. I don't know, it's too many twists and too many haha, didn't see that coming could ruin something, I think. But hopefully not something like that. Oop, there we are. There we go. Almost there. This way. Almost didn't make it there. <laughs> okay. Still going, yep. This is it. End of the line. All right, let's do it. Oh, wow. Ooh. <laughs> Yay. Are you okay? Look, I, I know you've been through a lot, but you have to help me access the Zenith network. I need to see their files, anything referring to the word Nemesis. Over there. The systems are down all over the base. I should be able to take advantage of... Yes, Nemesis. Here. There's something in deep space. It's following the Zeniths to Earth. What's following us? Look. Or the Zenith, I should escape say. Escape vectors. Alva tried to warn me about this. The Zeniths aren't planning to stay here. It's a machine of some kind. O or a swarm of them. The energy readings are astronomical. What? Aloy, 
I don't think a natural disaster destroyed the Zenith colony on Sirius. This thing did. Great. Earth isn't a new home for them. It's a way station. They're on the run. Alright, Tilda, tell us what the heck Nemesis is. I see you've been busy. And you've been lying. Nemesis, what is it? It is us. The minds of Far Zenith. Or failed copies of them, anyway. Back on Sirius, some of my peers weren't satisfied with physical immortality. They wanted digital transcendence. Ooh. A way to upload their minds into any form, organic or mechanical. Nemesis was a failed experiment to that effect. Abandoned, but never erased. An immense database of our memories, emotions, and prejudices left to fester. And it destroyed your colony? We didn't realize it had gained sentience until it broke containment. It had everything it needed from our memories. Security protocols, system specs, override codes. It hacked everything before we knew what hit us. Then it took over our printing facilities, allowing it to gain any machine form it needed to wipe us out. But why? Imagine being trapped alone for decades with only the twisted echoes of megalomaniacs for company. It hates us for abandoning it to that prison. And now that it's free, it will do anything to destroy us, including denying us a safe harbor on Earth. The extinction signal that woke Hades. You didn't send it. Nemesis did. Hmm. Finally, you understand. And when that failed, it launched from Sirius to finish the job itself. Which is why we must flee to a random planet circling a random star somewhere it can never find us. With Gaia, so you can build yourself a new world. That's the plan. Even now. Earth is finished, Aloy. Nemesis will scour it of life to deny its creators a viable home. But Elizabeth's dream won't die. You'll come with me to the stars. And with Gaia, we'll create a new world. Together. Where that monstrosity could never find us. What? No. I loved Elizabeth. More than you could ever know. And I let her stay behind to die with the rest of humanity. A mistake I have regretted for a thousand years. Now she stands before me again. Not some inferior copy, but her best possible self. So I'm not asking. You're coming with me. It may seem harsh now, but you'll forgive me in a few centuries. You can't force me, Tilda. Your shield is gone. Is it? I have something better. Spectre Prime, to me. Uh oh, she's Spectre becoming Prime. Iron Man. Submit Aloy. You can't win. No. Uh, I've heard that before. Oh boy. This Spectre was designed to survive against more than that, or I can do some damage. Okay. Ow! I can keep going. Ow, that's Ask a lot of... why you're holding back. That's a lot of ow, man. Surely nothing 
Come on, what is going on? Why can't I triple? I have no. Oh! My stamina! I was like, why can't I triple notch? Ha! Those gold plates are vulnerable! Yep. Let's get some plasma build up too while we're here. Get in as many hits as I can. Ow. Let's see here. What the gold is what she said? If I can knock it off. There we go. That did some hurt. While we're here. Might as well, right? What? Ow. Let's see if we can get some energy back and get this. Jeez. Aha! I'll shut you down. Let's get some more acid on her. Ow. Oh. Ow. I knew you didn't truly want to hurt me. Okay. Yeah. Come on now. Come on now. There we go. Oh, why did I miss that? It's using those gold plates to power its attacks. I can endure. You cannot. Oh, come on now. I cut that thing's armor. Okay, okay. Ah. All right, we have enough uh, energy back to use one of these arrows. Oh, yeah, let's fast. do that. Okay. This won't work, Tilda! Get one of these arrows crafted. Yes! Do some more plasma on it. Oh, it's, it's got some plasma. Alright, cool. Ooh. Get some health on us. Come on. There we go. Ooh. I knew you didn't truly want to hurt me. Nope. Put some traps down. Maybe that'll help. Maybe not. Ow. Let's just take care of her. We can take care of her, right? Yeah, we don't need anything else. There! Got its armor! For the coup de gras. Let's do this. Bye bye. Did that work? Yes. Aha. It's over. Why couldn't you just let me choose?
Wait, looks like I can collect something over here. Maybe? Can I? Oh my gosh, I was about to run away without collecting this. Sweet. Right, let's keep going. I think this is her pod. She... Dead? No. Yes? She tried to take you. And she told you about Nemesis. No, oh, so he knew. So you've known all along. From Hades, yes. Along with data on how to circumvent the Zenith shields. Everything I did to create the rebel army was based on that knowledge. To reach this place, this moment. And you couldn't just tell me? Come now, Eloy. You're the last person to act sensibly in the face of impossible odds. When I learned of Nemesis from Hades, I saw the pieces on the board and how to play them. And in that same moment, I knew it was a game you would never play. That you would interfere and attempt to save the Tanakht. I was correct, to a point. You ruined my plans, but brought your own to fruition. The end result is the same. Why is she breathing so heavy? You're here. And now it's time for me to leave this doomed planet behind. What? To seize the Odyssey and the Apollo database and begin a new chapter in my pursuit of knowledge, one with infinite possibilities. You can join me if you so desire. You've more than earned your place. Unlike Tilda, I'm extending a polite invitation. You're going to just take off and abandon everything? Stay. Help me fight that thing. Perhaps Tilda didn't adequately define the threat. Nemesis can't be stopped. It destroyed a highly advanced Zenith colony in a matter of hours. What hope does this primitive tribal Earth have? Well, we just defeated the Zeniths. And if you that. brought Gaia, you wouldn't be abandoning life. You'd be saving a seed for a new world. Just as Elizabeth did. It's the choice she made. The sacrifice of all that is for the hope of what might be. If she were here in your place, she would board that shuttle, Eloy. Found her. Is she hurt? Still on her feet. Thank the turn. Goodbye, Silence. I really wish that breathing was in there. That's a weird glitch. Probably because I was running. She looks okay. She looks victorious. As always. Eloy. You did it. Sister. Silence, don't go. Hey, where's he going? As far away as anyone can go. Oh. Are you sure? What? You're staying. For a time. You people are going to need all of the help you can get. Uh, does anyone else need a drink? Not if it's that ale of yours. <laughs> oh, I'd be fine with a nap. Excellent idea. Uh, I hope he's really over this time. <laughs> Look there, our destruction cometh.
There's another battle ahead, Elizabeth. Very different than the one you fought. It's not about the distant hope of creating a new world. Yay. It's about preserving the one we have. My friends have a new mission. To spread the word and ask for help. They've taken it in stride. I think it's because they've always known what I've only just started to understand. That the people of this world have the strength to fight any battle. The ingenuity to solve any problem. <laughs> the courage to overcome any obstacle. and the resilience to rise after any setback. As for me, I can't say I'm not afraid. What lies ahead will be harder than anything we've faced before. But I know I can put the fear aside. Because for the first time in my life, I feel like I'm not alone. And, uh... I believe that's it. Wow. Um. Before I get distracted by my analysis of what just happened, I really like what they're doing here with the credits. Makes it a little bit more interactive, visually and pleasing. Because sometimes with credits, you know, it's just the 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 crawl, which is great. People need to get their. It just desserts. People work really hard on video games, and it's important to stay and watch the credits, just like with a movie. Just stay and watch the credits. You don't get to see everybody's name, but it's important to acknowledge that, you know, all the time that you spent playing their product, kind of like, it's a small thank you to them. And this is a really cool way to do it. And it looks like we're kind of flying through all the areas we played through from the very beginning of the game and onward. This game was great. Don't get me wrong with what I'm about to say, but this game was great. Beautifully written, beautifully created. Uh, gorgeous design, gorgeous voice acting, gorgeous motion capture and animation. Great side quests. The main story was great until I think this last little part. It feels like it was a rush job in my opinion. A little too... It got creative when we were like, Oh gosh, it's the, it's the Zeniths. That's great. Should have just stuck with that. I think adding on to, Oh no, here comes an evil AI that destroyed the Zenith's planet is coming to destroy Earth now type of thing is... It's been done. It's called Mass Effect. And probably a bunch of other games too where it's like, Oh, here's another evil... It's great to be like, Oh, here's something else that's lurking. But this feels a little too much on the nose of copy and paste story writing and kind of takes away what was great about the first game too. The first game was story I felt was flawless, was perfect, was great. Just kept it centered on this planet and all the crap that happened here. And now we're getting into this whole other thing of, okay, we, we're gonna expand it to Zenith. And oh, look, we've we just expanded to all these other great tribes and people and cultures like the Quinn. 
but now it's like, oh, well, we've got, you know, a threat from above, from space, on top of it, and... I knew there would be a third one eventually, but I feel like there could have been a better... Uh, antagonist to throw into the mix than just well it's the cumulative it's the it's the AI put together of all the other zeniths from the first you know the colonies which just I don't know it feels flat it feels in this ending kind of felt a little flat too it's like hey yay we beat them hooray I mean the for last boss fight I mean that was a fun boss fight but I felt like I was hoping for a I don't know. More machines, more mechs, I don't know. The first game did a really good job. This one could have been... It, that was a good fight, but it felt like there could have been a little bit more to it. And it was kind of flat, like, okay, yay, we won, yay. We're all okay. I understand the restraints that game developers have had over the last couple of years for everything that's been going on, and but there have been games that have been pushed out that have done just fine with those constraints. Movies have done fine with just those constraints, too. So I really don't want to hear or read somewhere um, as I follow up to see, oh, well, the ending was rushed because of the circumstances of what is happening in the world. I'm like, no, 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 no. This ending felt very just, just could have been a lot better. That being said, this is a great game. Great everything. And it's almost like just don't do the last mission, play everything else and then just stop. Just know that everything will turn out okay. <laughs> All right, with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Thanks for joining me on Storytime Gamer. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I'm just going to let the rest of the game play itself out. And thanks again.
hands are full of flowers My ears are full of songs My heart is sad and numb I'd rather just be wrong I listen when you talk Your words all make sense But under Oh 